What up guys, if you're new here, I'm Jake and I just received an offer from Google for a position as a software engineer. I had to do a lot of preparation for my interviews and I want to provide some tips while they're still fresh in my mind for those of you who have upcoming interviews in 2021. Here's the TLDR. For a successful interview, you need to provide the interviewer with a positive experience while also demonstrating your technical ability. At the end of the day, there's probably a lot of qualified people applying and going through these interviews, so you need to set yourself apart technically and personally. You shouldn't assume your interviewer cares about you at all. These people who do your technical interviewers are probably just other software engineers. I mean, personally, if I have an upcoming deadline and I have a lot of stuff going on at home and I find out that I have to drop what I'm doing and spend all day running interviews, I would be pretty frustrated. So make your first impression count. Put on a smile, say something funny, and don't be afraid to show that you're excited. When I was in an interview and they would say, hey, how are you doing? I'd say, another day in paradise. Or, I got my morning coffee, I'm ready to go. Now I know that can come off as sarcastic, but I'm starting the conversation and letting them know that I'm relaxed and I'm comfortable, and they can express themselves that way if they want to as well. Of course, not every interviewer wants to be friendly with you, but you need to at least make the attempt. We all have some level of experience that extends into this interview, but you really need to respect the balance between your ego and your interviewers. What I mean is, unless you're 110% positive that your interviewer provided incorrect guidance, you shouldn't be arguing with them. Here's some contextual examples. You're struggling, so your interviewer gives you a hint that you might want to implement a hash table. You think a hash table might work, but maybe a linked list is a better option. You should just use the hash table. You believe you can use a certain extension method to achieve a goal. Your interviewer corrects you on how the extension method works, but you're not 100% sure they're correct. You should just say, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I did X and not Y. You have a solution or part of a solution written and are testing for edge cases. Your interviewer says it looks good, but you're not so sure. You'd like to spend more time testing it. You should just move on. The point with all these is that your interviewer has provided you feedback, so you should respect it and do your best to implement it. We've heard it a million times, talk through your whiteboard problems out loud. But if you continually talk through the whole interview, it becomes difficult for your interviewer to interject with clarifying questions or even a hint. When you're in the second half of the interview, whether you're finishing up pseudocode or writing your solution, if you notice your interviewer has been silent for five or 10 minutes, feel free to pause what you're doing and check up on them. You can ask them, does what I've done up until this point make sense? Or, I think this approach will work. What are your thoughts? Your interviewer may have just been checking their phone or have been checked out of the interview, so this gives them a good opportunity to ask a question or provide a hint. This again ties into making your interviewer feel comfortable and invested in the interview having a positive outcome. It seems like studying for a FANG interview requires you to learn complicated algorithms and data structures. For my studying, I learned graph traversals and how to build a suffix tree. And honestly, you might run into problems on your technical interview that require knowledge of these things. But most of the problems are just your bread and butter binary trees and dynamic programming. Don't over-engineer a problem just because it seems daunting at first. Relax and don't make the problem harder than it needs to be. Look, I get anxious easily, so I understand what it's like to go into one of these technical interviews. But your interviewer is a person too, so you need to make sure that they have a positive experience and get along with you while you're stuck together. The best interviews I had were from interviewers who had a smile on their face and seemed like they were having a good time, even if I didn't perform perfectly. So study up on your technical stuff, but don't forget to get a good night's sleep and bring your best attitude to the interview. If you want more interview tips, I put some links to some great channels in the description below. Thanks.